Okay, so it is a social studies day. Over in the chat bar, I want you to tell me something that you know or that you've heard about September 11th. What do you know or what have you heard about September 11th? Good, something about the Twin Towers. Do you remember what state the Twin Towers were located in? Okay, wiggle. New York. New York, okay. Anybody else remember anything about September 11th? Mm -hmm. Well, this week's article, we're going to be going into more about what happened in September the 11th. We've already read some about Saddam Hussein, and so we have a little bit of a background on him already. from this last week. Let's go on ahead and get into our Social Studies Weekly. Okay, and so it's gonna be week 31, Land of the Free, Home of the Brave. Okay, guys, once you're in there, um, just like Miss Harden and I have already lived through some history, Y'all are living through a historical event happening now, and this will probably make it into the newspapers next year. Yep. Um, this will definitely make it into every history book across the United States and probably from country to country. It'll be international events. Go ahead and click on watch movie. I'm gonna go ahead and just play it. If you're watching my screen. Wow, what do y'all think about that? repeat. What do y'all think about that? Okay, Sarah, what do you think about that? to take in. Hi, Diego. Diego, what do you think about that? Diego. Mm-hmm. Right, that's great. chose to bury him at sea. Did the video say exactly where at sea he was found? I 
I honestly doubt even everybody in the CIA knows where he is, his body is located. Hello, did y'all eat your Wheaties? No. Francesca, what, what did you think? Okay. Ah, I like your thinking, Sebastian. Jonas, yes, a lot of Americans felt that he deserved it as well because there were a lot of kids. There was a daycare up there in the Twin Towers and those babies didn't get to come home because they were trapped between the planes that came in from one side and the other. Jonas, are you referring to Sebastian's statement? They might put it in a tomb, a very special tomb, and then people would come by and pray to him because in their eyes, he would have been a martyr, somebody who died for a very specific cause. If we buried him at sea, would, would the Afghanistans and those who believed very wrongly about Americans do you, would they be able to find his body? No. No, they wouldn't. So, in that, in that case, we have stopped him from being worshipped for what he did because we don't want people to be praised for killing Americans. Okay, let's go back to the article. So here it says a dark day in history. It's going to talk to us more about what exactly happened during 9-11. Now remember, their goal was to hit the Pentagon as well, but the people on the plane found out and took over and stopped them from hitting the Pentagon. So we had a lot of Americans who died as heroes as well during that time. article or actually I'll even have them read it out loud to you um, because you're going to need the background to kind of understand the rest of it. On September 11, 2001, America awoke to a new and terrifying threat. Wow. I'm going to go back to the chat because I know some of you were putting some things in there and I want to see what you came up with or your thoughts about this. Go, 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 go. 
sometimes it's hard to kind of put into words when you think of something happening that was so incredibly awful. Yeah, we have strong opinions about it too. Okay, um, Mia, let me help you. I want y'all to keep going. I want to see a conversation happening in the chat bar. Mia, I'll, I'll help you real quick. Yeah, I mean, it does show how hard it was. And abs absolutely, Francesca, all the people who died in there, we, we pray they rest in peace. Now, I have been to New York. I have been to the 9-11 Memorial. And when I was in there, I spent most of my time crying. You can see the twisted metal from where the planes really... were there. Good point, Mia. Good point. Chase, did you actually go into the memorial? Um, they have people doing final, they have um, MP3s of last phone calls to family members. And it's just absolutely heart-wrenching. They have people's receipts where they wrote messages on them in hopes that their family would get something. They have a fire truck in there that you can see where, when the second plane fell, how it was twisted by the debris of the collapse. Alexa, I, I agree. I don't understand how someone could be so heartless either. But people have very differing opinions about it. Um, let me see if I can pull up the website for it. And I can put it into the chat. They do have the museum, and it's... I'm gonna put it into the chat bar so that we can all go there. You know, a lot of times it's people who don't have information about another religion or the way a culture is that causes these awful things to happen. That's why it's so important to not stay ignorant or to not seek information out about other religions and things, especially when you're not familiar with it. I know for a long time people were very um, scared of the Muslim religion and a lot of people retaliated against them but it's not everybody in that certain religion that caused the terrorist act to take place okay so I want you to click on The interactive timelines. Don't say that. 
So when you clicked on learn, there should have been one that says interactive timelines. So I want you to take time to click on September 11th attack timeline. And take a moment and just click around a little bit. because all of these things were happening at the same time, or pretty close to it. Because I think the more you understand about it, the more you're gonna understand this week's social studies. And timelines are important text features that we can use to help us understand what's going on. So you're gonna click and you're gonna drag as you go through. So I, I know you will be continuing to explore that. This week, um, same as always, you have your weekly crossword and the weekly tests due. Um, you're going to see a lot about the effects of September 11th happening. Um, take time to browse and listen on that timeline. And trust me, oh, your heart will be right there in it. Because most of y'all were born around that time. And so you don't see the huge impact. But when you go through those resources... I truly believe you'll understand more of what's going on. And so I can't take you out to that museum, but I can bring the museum to you to help you understand more of what happened to those people and all of those innocents. Um, because people choose to remain ignorant and they have such a strong opinion that isn't supported with facts. It's just heartbreaking. It's only because we're in this virtual time that we have access to this resource. So I'm grateful that we do. I saw a come from away about my level. Yeah. Uh, Chase, can you explain more of your last statement? I was about to say, 7 Eleven is a, is a gas station. <laughs> but I really hope that looking at this timeline will help you dig in even further this week into your social studies and truly understand what terrorism is. It's not just like getting picked on. It causes a mass, massive fear. Um, and I know that Eustonians felt it because of we have a lot of businesses downtown. But um, if you have any questions, please send them to me or Ms. Harden um, about what it is, and we will find resources if you need them. But it is time for us to go. So I love you. Stay safe and wash your hands, guys.